All right. So, I forgot my suction cup mount. It's in my other Supra. So, we're gonna have to do this handheld. Okay, boys? Bear with me. Anyway, we're here at Skyway. We're just going to get a good location to shoot the car. And his, this is actually Jervin's car. Yung Civic FD natin na ginawa before with the Rega Master. I can't see it, pero ayan, ayan pala. Ayun, pwede pala ako maging rolling. Ayan. Ganda. Ah, <laughs> swerte mo, boy. Ito ka lang. Ayan. Baligtad yung ano eh, sorry ah. <laughs> Bear with me. Yo. Anyway, so yeah, we have the Street Hunter Supra here driving it now. Boss Angie actually made the review on this car. If you want to watch that, click the link down below. But yeah, Street Hunter Supra is on our hands for now. I have to check its KW suspensions. So I have to do some tuning on it. And I have to make sure the sockets on this car is actually reseated properly. I want to highlight this car, that's why I'm actually driving it around and we're gonna show you I actually drove it for a while for a specific reason because I wanted to see how different it feels from my Supra to this Supra Is the wide body a big factor in my dra daily driving? Is ba yon? I ko alam. And one way to find out is to drive their car around here and you know, safe locations naman tayo Let's actually find a good spot to shoot this car I actually want to shoot it here at Skyway sa mga parang lay-by areas pero let's see if I can get a good spot first so for now yeah chill lang tayo may patrol sa gilid hi sir <laughs> 60 lang po takbo ko so this is episode 1 of living with the street hunter Supra okay so let's see how different it is okay from my car this actually car, this car is actually loaded na it has FI exhaust, engine intake, tune, downpipe, lahat ng mga good shit na yon meron na to. Okay? Look at the sound. <laughs> so far, ang una ko masasabi sa unit na ito is it has the FI full exhaust. Okay, from the front to back, palit na yung exhaust system nito. And one thing I can tell you is that if you really don't hammer on it, if you go comfort mode and you roll up the windows, which I'm doing right now, it's just gonna cruise like a normal car. I mean, it's not obnoxiously loud. You can hear the exhaust from behind. Pero, alam mo yun, it makes me want to change my exhaust on my car. Pero, that is still debated. I don't know if June will allow me. But yeah. All right. This is the Street Hunter Supra. And we're going to be driving it for a while, checking its stability. Okay? We're going to highlight a few things about this car. I mean, I don't know actually where to start. There is so many things that we can actually talk about this car. That's why I figured dapat video series. So nga pala, Papi Jerv in the house. Nakakuha naman ako ng rolling mo. Kahit pa paano. Oh. <laughs> Edit ko na lang. Diyan natin. So we're here at Kowloon. Kain muna kami. And yeah. The owner was kind enough to let us drive this car for a while so we can actually, you know, help him sell the unit. We're going to give our best opinion about the car, run down the car's features, mods, and lahat ng mga ginawa niya dito. So yeah, let's get some food first. What is up guys and welcome to a new video. Shoot! Shoot yeah. Thank you. Alright, welcome. Welcome to the shop. 
We are here at Makati Shop and we have a Toyota Supra right here in front of us. This is not our Toyota Supra. Our Toyota Supra is right there. A park sitting pretty muna sa dyan, as we have another face to face. Ilaw. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> so, welcome to a new video series. As the title may suggest, it, I am going to be living with this Supra for a while. The last wide body project ng Carp One Racing, and it's here at the shop in, under my wing to be taken care of. Yes, you're right, the car is being sold, but before niya ibenta yung koche, he actually wants me to check on the car first because there's a few things I need to check under the car, sa under chassis niya. I'll get to that later. That's going to be the content of this video. But yeah, also for ease of viewing. Kasi uh, we are in Makati and he's a friend. If you want to see this car, it's, it's here at the shop. If you're interested, punta lang kayo dito. We can actually take the car for a spin. We can actually see the car in person. How We, we can actually compare that car, this car, to that car. So if you're looking for a Supra and if you're wondering if you want a wide body Supra, ito yung wide body, and you can actually see the difference of a, another Supra, another modified Supra right there. In short, in short, and in Tagalog, pinapahawak na lang sa atin yung kotse para matulungan natin siya ibenta yung kotse. And para rin ma-check niya, ma-check ko yung mga ibang bagay na kailangan i-check dito for the new owner. Like, for example, my initial drive with this car is, yun nga, may chassis fault siya, so I need to check the EDC. But if meron siyang problema sa EDC, I have a canceler for that, so I'm going to fix that. And then, of course, kailangan niya ng hub-centric ring. He has massive wheels. We need a hub-centric ring so it will rotate properly. So those are the things na gusto kong ayusin sa coaching to. So before the new owner gets this, if mabenta natin, if mabenta ni Kuya, okay na yung kotse. But for now, it's in my safekeeping and we're going to review this car as well. I actually want to make a video about this car. So you want to buy the Street Hunter A90. So once I'm, once I'm done with this series, I'm probably gonna have a good figure or a good gauge basis on what I want to say on the review. I want to review this car. This car is actually a gem. But first, as we actually talked about kanina, gusto ko muna i-check yung pangilalim ng kotse so we can actually see what is happening on the chassis itself. Meron kasi itong electronic damping controller. So you see, sa mga hindi nakakaalam, ang Toyota Supra ay may adaptive damping. So I'm going to check the pigtails of the KW V3. This has KWs already. So I want to check yung sensor natin na socket if okay ba siya, nakakabit ba ng maayos. Kasi naglulus connection daw. So let's actually check that. I'm actually checking yung electronic damping controller natin. I don't know if you can see it, but whatever. So, have to take off the wheel on this side. Kasi may napansin ako dito. Nakakaiba. So, we're gonna do that right now. It's big. The wheels are big. So, these are rotiforms. Ano kalapad to, boys? Hmm. Surprisingly, walang data. What? Okay, whatever. <laughs> Alright. So, for those who are curious, he has KWV3 sa inyo itsura niya. Okay. I noticed something. This was actually loose. I actually hammered it in with a dead blow mallet para pumasok yung... So basically, it's a solenoid magnet. Siguro, pag nag activate yung sport mode or yung comfort mode as well, hindi na pick up ng system yung current going in through the solenoid magnet. So I just hammered it in so it will actually pull the magnet inside the shocks to let the flow properly go in. So let's see. Kasi sa kabila, mahigpit to eh. And then this one was loose. So that was the first thing that Kuya Ramil wanted me to check. So check natin if may problema yung suspensions. But so far, so good. Ito lang napansin ko. And quick hammer in with a dead blow mallet. Did the job. So let's see. Let's see the rear. May likod pa tayo. Alright. Check ko na rin kaya yung kabila. Ha? Pag sinipag tayo. Anyway, one way to fit this is actually carry it with your body weight. <laughs> Technique to, ah. Sa mga magdi-DIY, you put the weight of the wheel, not with your body, upper body, but your lower body. You can actually push it in like this, slowly. 
going in, so you don't, you know, scratch your wheels. Sa ganito ako maglagay ng mugs with my thighs and my legs. Kasi your lower body is actually stronger than your upper body. Kasi imagine mo, naglalakad ka araw-araw, dala ng paa mo yung weight mo. So, so I just got the car recently, ah. so take note. These are the things I found that I need to fix on the car. And so these are rotiform SNAs, if I'm not mistaken. SNAs nga ba tawag dito? So, you like this content? Gumagawa ako ng kotse? Let me know. <laughs> So, slowly drop the car. Woohoo! Sarap nang hindi naka air suit. <laughs> you don't have to worry about air pressure and everything. Of course, we need to tighten the, tighten the bolts. That's something, right? Okay, doing the other side as well. Kasi nung chinek ko kanina, check the video out. Luwag, parehas. Honestly. KWs, what's up? What's up, KW? Bakit ganun? Ang luwag ng solenoid natin. <laughs> Pero no worries. We'll just hammer it back in with a Redel Blow mallet. Check lang natin both sides para sure. Ito yung finding natin. Okay, this is the pre-checkup before I drive the car. See? Loose. We're gonna hammer that in. It is getting loose. So this is a solenoid magnet. Inside, it's like a piston sa air suspension. We're gonna hammer that in para mawala yung error. Okay? So maybe it's not actuating kung hindi siya masyadong kapit na kapit, yung ganun. Okay? Done! Hammered it in real quick. You get to drive a nice car, take care of it na lang, di ba? Alright. Torque natin. Alright. Car's back on the floor. Sensors check. We need to actually repressurize the tires. Let's take it out for a spin. Pag-usapan natin tong coaching to. And let's bring it around. It's a day with the Street Hunter Supra. So, yung sport mode at comfort mode kasi, na-activate niyo yung EDC, Electronic Damping Control, which stiffens up your ride and softens your ride at your will. So, minsan, pag tumatakbo ako sa coaching to, walang error, minsan meron. So, ngayon, nakita ko loose yung mga solenoid na kinakabitan ng sensor itself. So, let's see. One way to find out is to drive the car around. And one thing you need to know about a wide car like this is, ang lapad talaga niya. Pero, it's drivable. Pag-usapan natin yun mamaya. Hangin ko lang muna yung kotse, lagyan natin ng gas. And, let's take it for a spin. Actually, I have my suction mount on this car now. Kasi, wala, yeah, ma-vlog natin eh. Might as well, right? Also, all of my stuff are here. Yung aking tripod and everything is also here in the car. So, alright. Pahangin na tayo. And, nagpagas. And, let's check if mag e pa yung chassis. Mukhang wala na, naayos na natin. I'm actually cycling through comfort mode, sport mode. So we're at Skyway right now. Babatin na bintana natin. Hopefully it's not that, you know. Hopefully it's not that windy, so you can actually hear. Kahit naka-wide body to, 10 sa unahan, 12 sa likod, this car feels light. It's amazing how the Supra has so much torque. Yun yung gusto kong i-highlight eh. Ang taas ng torque ng Supra na kahit ganito kalapad yung kotse, ang lapad ng mags and everything. Feels great. Feels planted. Actually, this car can still spin the wheels. It can still wheel spin the wheels. Even though by 12 siya, ganun kataas ang torque nito, hindi pa ito palit ang turbo. So this is why the Supras are actually very, very well sought after. Is because for such a small amount of, I mean, still, it's still an expensive car. Pero compared to a GTR, getting more what you pay for, for such a small package in one. Alam mo yun? 
such a drivable car. Something na kailangan nyo malaman sa Supra, it's actually one of the best driving cars now in our generation. And having it on wide body, nawala ba yun? Actually, it's still very drivable. Sabi ko nga, it still feels very light despite being such a wide wheelbase ngayon. This is just me talking. I'll have a full review of this car when I'm done. Like, if you want to smile, <laughs> this car is good. Before pala tayo pumunta sa Alabang, daan muna tayo dito sa tropa nating si... Paring Daniel of Burn. Kapatid din Nathan, Burn Automotive. Actually, lumabas ulit yung chassis error. So, we might have to put the cancelers on. On this car... Pagdating ng boys tomorrow, papalagay natin yung canceler. May canceler naman yung KW kit ni Boss. So, we're just gonna put the cancelers on the car. So, at least na-check natin. I tried my best to sort out the error, pero lumabas ulit eh. Ay, pakita ko sa inyo yun a bit, yung chassis error natin. So, yeah. We have to put the error cancelers on the car later. Or tomorrow pala, sorry. And then we can drive the car again tomorrow. So, yan yung error. You can't, you can't continue driving. Chassis fault. Let's actually check. What's up, dude? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Rudy Four. Wow, log bolt. So, ito yung fault code. I think so for this car. Yeah, you can continue driving. 